Good morning, guys. Hi, this is LaQueen. Happy Thursday from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm here as a layover in this city on my way to Philadelphia. So um, I'm just touching bases with you guys on this new chapter in my life. So my angel, my baby, she's doing good. <laughs> so I'm here on my layover on this new chapter of my life. I just had a telephone interview and pretty much I am I'm still looking for jobs here in this city. So I, um, I've been in Chicago for about the last six years and I'm happy that I was able to graduate with two degrees and get my medical assistant certification, which this one year certification is doing so much better than, um, than uh, my four year degrees, which my two and four year degrees, which I've been trying to get for the last 20 years. So since I went to Howard University and uh, the Army, the uh, Army Reserves. So uh, guys, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I have a lot going on right now. So just touching a little basis with you guys. Uh, right now I'm here in uh, Pittsburgh and it's a layover to Philly. Um, I really wanna be on the East Coast because everything is more centralized in that area. Jobs are more flourish. Uh, commute is so much easier to go to New York and Boston and DC and Virginia and Pennsylvania, all over. The commute is so much easier as well as um, there are better opportunities to network with people in, internationally and nationally. So I can't wait to get my passport. I applied for my passport six months ago, but I just didn't have the money. So hopefully this time I'll have the money to go ahead and get my passport and travel and do some international relations as well. So uh, guys, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I still have a lot going right now, but I'll just touch bases with you guys. Um, there's a couple of issues I have with uh, working, you know, either hustling or you're either hustling or you're working or you're doing both. So I'm still trying to learn how to hustle and find a job and work at the same time. It's kind of hard, but um, I know I'm going to get there. So, um, and did, like I said, I just came out to the closet, came out of the closet to my dad uh, last week. Um, like I came in a closet gay at like almost 40 years old, which probably wasn't a surprise to him. Everybody in my family pretty much knew, already knew um who, who and what i was so since i haven't been married but everybody everybody else in my family has so um, i really don't go to church i really don't participate in a lot of church services um but i have 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 had some problems with people in the church recently but i haven't been going to, to any kind of um um ministry or uh, services so i don't understand why somebody from the church would have an issue with me since i haven't been a part of anybody's ministry within the last six months so um if you're looking for me to be involved in somebody's ministry and to go back and to church every single sunday and do the same thing over and over again go to church every sunday sit on the pew uh sing a couple songs listen to a man preach and then go back uh, go back as my day as usual well then that's going to be pretty boring and i'm not going to you and i are not going to get anything out of it because it says a man uh prophets prophets nothing and still loses the world with his own soul i mean there's a verses all over the bible that says you can go to you can be of, of no earthly good so um you can be spiritually full spiritually satisfied but of no earthly good so i'm not gonna waste my time going to church every single sunday wednesday friday and saturday and expecting somebody to help me make my own life better when i can make my life better for myself and still have a relationship with the god i serve or whatever a deity that i believe that has an influence over my life so guys keep me in your thoughts and your prayers i am still transitioning through a lot of situations right now i'm just we're trying to overcome a lot of hurdles right now i'm really in the red with the bank as well as uh pretty much trying to struggle uh with uh pretty much everyday expenses with a uh, food with shelter with um just living and and uh, with as well as um getting back in school and hopefully actually making something out of this degree, out of this degree. Cause having three, four degrees and not being able to use it, um, it really doesn't make any kind of sense. Right now I have three degrees and I'm not using it and I'm still in the same situation that I've been in the last 10 years. All my twenties I've been homeless and in my thirties it's like I'm going back to the same situation. So um, like I said, if you want me to go and be a part, go to church on a Sunday, be a part of somebody's ministry and give my life and just get married to a man and everything will go on as usual, well you know what you're you're expecting out of it. And nothing out of me and nothing out of yourself because it's not gonna happen. The world changes every single day and people change and, and the world is changing, so technology is changing. 
people are making money faster than you can ever think so it's just a different world um, um and i'm glad here i'm here on the east coast where i can make better opportunities and network with people and pretty much do whatever i can do in this city so um again guys please keep me in your thoughts and your prayers um and i need i need as much as prayers and well wishes and um benefits as i can here um in pennsylvania right now i'm in pittsburgh so hopefully i can lay over to philly tonight i'll get the money for my best ticket um i'm still kind of looking for shelters or or as cheap housing as possible room to rent and they get my feet back up which is really hard but i am trying to do the best i can to be established and survive this is not easy i have things i have a list i have a list of things i have my calendar i'm always the type of person that writes things down i always 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 write things down i just i always have a pen a pad i always just write things down but it really hasn't been going on that well so i'm like this is my list right now it's really sad <laughs> on this piece of paper but and then i have my calendar on my iphone so i don't know i don't know how much longer i'm gonna have this iphone but pretty much um you know you have to do what you can do to survive and um to struggle so um i'm trying to hustle and get a job and survive at the same time which is really kind of hard so um i've had a couple ministries already tell me that i should just work just work work that's your job that's your role you just need to work so it's kind of hard for me right now to just do the very best i can so i'm um, right now i'm here in the pittsburgh area and pretty much uh, trying to get my focus back up um I have a lot going on trying to enroll get enrolled in grad school as well as um get housing looking for a job and stuff like that so um the east coast has some wonderful wonderful uh, graduate schools and programs out there that i'm interested in either nursing or physician assistant school which people have been telling me over the years i should do as well so um i'm trying to keep my focus up and pretty much do the very best that I can which is hard it's not easy but I am trying so um, this is LaQueen here from Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I've made it this far so guys please just continue to keep me in your thoughts and your prayers and uh, thank you guys for supporting me all my nine subscribers here on YouTube so um, I love you guys peace and much love bye